Well, it's me again. Another video. Fucking game. I don't even know what's wrong with this thing. Anyway, just came back from the VA. Came back from the VA. I had to get a PET scan on my prostate. So, if you're all asking what the hell that is, uh, it's like in another MRI machine, but they zap you, and then they also check your lymph nodes for cancer. So, I'm pretty sure it's going to be quite a bit of you saying, yeah, die, die, fucking Jeff, you piece of shit. No, <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, when I got there, I mean, well, first of all, it's hand-to-hand -hand combat just to get there. Driving in downtown L.A., sucks sucks especially in the morning and afternoon traffic absolute nightmare just nightmare anyway where was I in this game oh okay and um, so I got there early at 8 in the morning my my uh, my appointment was at 11 I says hey you know I came in early just in case anybody calls out they said, no, you're just going to have to wait here for three hours in these lousy chairs. Watching a grainy TV show, a TV set, with some sort of idiot asses barking over ridiculous stuff like actors and actresses or whatever. Anyway, so I was hoping this was not going to be a fucking kook farm, a kook fest. People in there were cool. There was two people. They were talking, you know, just amongst themselves, no problem. And then I switched over. I went to the other uh, uh, waiting room because I just had to get away from that horrible TV show. I just had to get away from it. I, I just couldn't. I was like, wow, I got, I got to get away. And um, while I was waiting, there was these four guys, five guys, actually. Two Afro-American dudes that were in wheelchairs. I was like, damn. There was another guy who had a walker with an air tank, and there was these two other guys. And the one guy, the one guy with the bald head and the weird army, he had an army hat, said U.S. Army on it. And the other guy had a Marine Corps hat. So they were talking, and then he was explaining to this other guy about um, chemotherapy. So I was listening in. I was listening on the conversation. I wasn't going to try to butt in or anything, but, you know, he looked in my direction several times, and they were talking. And I said, well, how come you're here, dude? I mean, well, what's going on? He said, oh, well, I'm getting, getting a PET scan on my chest. I said, do they suspect something? He says, oh, yeah, the MRI showed a black spot in, in my chest. I went, oh, shit. I said, that's, that's not good. And then he started talking about his family, his, his life. Well, not his life. I wouldn't say his life. He was like, well, you know, I was in the Army for like three years. And I said, well, how old are you? He says, I'm going to be 60, 68. I said, go to Vietnam? No, I was in the Vietnam era. He was like in the Army in like 69, 70, 71. Didn't go to Vietnam. He was... Uh, where was he? I think he said he was in Fort Jackson. I said, oh, okay. So, and he started talking about how he's been fighting his cancer since 2000. I was like, oh, shit. I said, well, you know, originally I had throat cancer, he tells me. Yeah, my throat was all jacked up. And he had to have at least 10 different chemotherapy things, blah, blah, blah. I mean, he was, the whole thing. I mean, lost all his hair. His skin looked terrible. And then he started talking about how his teeth fell out because of the chemotherapy. I was like, oh, shit. And he says, yeah, you know, and uh, uh, I got brand new teeth put in. And I said, oh, shit. I said, what'd that cost you? He says, it cost me nothing. I got it at the VA. They put permanent dentures inside. They actually stuck them inside. He goes, yeah. I said, are you 100% disabled? He goes, no, 50 I said, the, you have to be 100% to get them done like that. I mean, you don't have to be any percentage to get your teeth worked on, get your tooth pulled out, 
or they drill it and fill it. You know, you have to pay a copay on it if you're not 100 percent. I said, how the hell did 50 percent cover that? He said, well, I got my doctor to tell them I couldn't chew my food. My, my teeth were bad and they replaced all of them. I said, your doctor did that for you? He goes, yeah. He says, the bill was almost $100,000 for all his fucking teeth. I said, and you're going to be 68? He goes, yeah. I said, why go to that extreme if you're going to be 68? He goes, well, what extreme is that? I said, dude, you've been fighting cancer for 20 years. And you just cost the VA 50, 60, 70 grand in teeth. I said, that's, that's insane. He says, well, you know, since the VA is there, I might as well use it. And I was like, I said, so you got 50% disability. He goes, yep. For what? Oh, well, for my cancers. You had... You got it for cancer. Yeah. I got three different kinds of cancer, and I fought and beat all of them, except for this new one that came up. And the BA gave you 50% disability for cancer that has absolutely nothing to do with your Army job, and they just gave it to you. Because, yeah, well, my job was important. Okay, what was your job? Oh, I was a cook. How the fuck does a cook get 50% disability? And I said it like that. He says, well, you know, being around all those chemicals and stuff for three years. And not unless you're drinking those fucking chemicals. I said, the VA is not responsible for that kind of cancer. I said, that's insane. He goes, well, you know, I got a good guy to, to give me the 50%. I said, so... You got the VA to pay for all your cancer treatments for a bogus MOS for three years. And they paid millions of dollars fighting your cancer for the last 20 years. He goes, oh, it wasn't bogus, you know. I was around all those chemicals as a cook. I said, what, tomato sauce? I was like, I said, you know, does cancer run in your family? He goes, oh, yeah. My brother and my sister both died of cancer, and my mom died of it. Do you smoke? He goes, yeah. Do you still smoke? Yep. And the cancer is probably hereditary. Oh, they don't know. Three members of your family died of cancer. Yeah, but, you know, they don't know if it's hereditary or not. So, the BA is paying for your fucking treatments because you refuse to smoke. Wouldn't the first cancer scare stop you from smoking? He just looked at me like I was out of my fucking mind. I was like, Okay. So anyway, so eventually at 11.15, they called me in. So I get called in. And the lady says, okay, you're going to take your arm, and we're going to inject this stuff in there. I said, whoa. <laughs> First of all, what, what are you putting in there? What are you putting in my arm? Oh, it's, it's radioactivity. I said, so what's safer, standing next to a nuclear reactor in a submarine or take this shot? He goes, well, he says, you, she says, you have to understand that this is very, 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 very tiny. It's very, it's very, very little. It doesn't do anything to you. That, that the life of this, of this stuff is only about an hour and a half. And it doesn't harm you in any way, shape, or form. She says the MRIs the stuff they stick, the dyes from the MRI, she says those would mess you up before this would. I said, these people are going to put radioactivity in me. 
So after she stuck me, I got to go out for an hour. Because it takes an hour for it to go through my system. Ugh. So I bebop on back after an hour. And then the place is packed with people. I was like, what the fuck? I said, where did all these people come from? Where are all these... And these three guys. There was Now there was five guys on wheelchairs. One guy looked like he weighed about 80 pounds. And this other black guy... He was in a wheelchair and he was talking to his wife. And she was talking to this black lady at the desk. And they were both black. He goes, oh yeah, here's the pictures of my seven kids. I said, you got seven kids? Because yeah. Who's your oldest? Oh, my oldest is 40. My two other sons are 30 and 30. Because they were born seven months apart. And she was like, the other one is like 28, and, and the youngest one was 10. I went. Seven kids? Yeah. And I just sat back and went, what? Then I caught the immortal words of, yeah, you know. Been living on welfare, she was telling the other chick. She goes, well, you go, girl. Yeah, you know, she says, I make a lot of money. She says, I get quite a bit of welfare for the for the children. But she can only collect on the on three of them because the other four are already over the age of twenty. And I just And she was bragging about how she has a nice brand new two thousand twenty SUV and I was like, This is insanity. There's no morality here. There's, there's nobody with honor. I was like, I was amazed. I was dumbfounded. So eventually I went in and did my PAT scan. Got out. Went to the truck. You guys saw the truck. Actually, I'm going to be getting one of those cell phone things for the windshield where I can do videos inside the truck. Then proceed to take two hours to drive from downtown LA all the way back to the Eagle Rock area. People are going through red lights. People were trying to force their way through. Almost got hit five or six times. Detours all up and down the street so I can't get to the house. This has definitely been a jacked up day jacked up. So I went and took a shower when I got back and just did this. Just, my God, and I'm going to drink some more water if I can flush that shit out of my system. So, what is the moral of the video? I mean, this... You know, I'm, I'm, I must be... I'm, I must be dreaming. I, I wish I would wake up. I mean, it's a bad dream. Let's let's screw the system. Fifty percent disability for being a cook for three years. Oh, I got seven kids and I've been living on welfare for the last thirty actually the last forty years. Her husband was in the Marines for two years. 1978 to 1980. And now he's jacked up, dying of cancer. So the VA is spotting him too. Never served overseas, never was injured, wounded. No campaign medals, nothing. Yeah, let's just... Okay, let's just screw it some more, you know. VA paid for the guy's teeth. At 50% disability. It's insanity. Anyway, this is Jeff DePero, and I, I, I'm just going to play my game and shut the damn hell up. You know what I mean? Hua. And I'll find out the results of this damn thing either tomorrow or the next day. And let's just hope that there is no hidden cancer inside my prostate or my lymph nodes in my neck. Hua.